To find statistical measures from frequency tables like this one or like this one, you wanna start by going to your lists and spreadsheet app. You can also get here by adding a document. I'm at the homepage, so I'm gonna just tab down until I get to that lists and spreadsheet app and then click on enter. You can click the center button of your touchpad. Now I wanna start by giving my data column a name and my frequency column, which will be the second one, a name as well. I'm going to arrow up so that I am next to the letter A. These are exam scores. So I'm going to label this scores. So S-C-O-R-E-S -E and then enter. I'm gonna arrow over and up so I am next to the letter B, and these are gonna be my frequencies. Now I can't type in frequency, the calculator will give me an error, so instead I'm gonna type in F-R-E-Q um, to label my frequencies. and then enter. Now the data that I'm using is actually a grouped frequency distribution. You might just have numbers in your data column. You can enter your numbers here, but I need to find midpoints first. That first group is 60 to 69. I cannot type that into my cell here, but I can type in the midpoint. To find that midpoint, I'm gonna add those two limits, so 60 plus 69, which is 129, and then I'll divide Divide that by two to get 64.5. Doing that for each of these classes gives me the midpoints and the values that I'm going to type into my first column. Let's go ahead and type these in. So I've got 64.5. I'm in that first column next to the number one, and then I hit enter. 74.5, 84.5, and 94.5. Next, I'm going to type in the frequencies. My midpoints are an estimate of a value in each of those groups. And I know that I've got a certain number of students that are at each of those scores. So I've got seven students in the first group, nine students in the next, 10 in the next, and four in the next. To compute the statistics, we're going to do one variable statistics. You can do this either on the spreadsheet screen where I am, or you can do this on your calculator screen. I'm gonna go ahead and do it right here in my spreadsheet. And I do that by clicking menu first. I want statistics, which is number four. So I'm gonna choose four. I do want stat calculation. So I hit one and then one variable statistics. So I hit one again. It asks me for the number of lists. And by lists, it means variables. We really just have a single variable here and those are the exam scores. So I'm gonna leave the number of lists at one and I'm gonna just hit enter. Next it wants that X1 list, which is really my data list. And those data values, in this case my midpoints, live in my scores column. Notice there's a right arrow here. I'm gonna click the right arrow on my touchpad twice and that gives me my two column headings. I want for my X or my data list, I want scores. So arrowing down to that and then you can click the center button of your touchpad. I'm gonna tab down to the frequency list. The default is to count each of those scores a single time. I'm actually using my frequency list because I've got multiple students in each group. So I wanna do the same thing. I'm gonna click the right arrow twice and then I'm gonna arrow down until I get to frequency and then I'm gonna click that center button of my touchpad or you can hit enter. I'm gonna tab down to the other choices. I don't need the next two choices. The last choice is where it's gonna start putting your results from one variable stats and the C column is fine. I don't have anything in that C column. So I'm gonna arrow down just one more time and then hit enter. Notice it gives me all of these values. So I've got my mean, which is that first value, 78.1667. I've got my standard deviations, the sample followed by the population standard deviation. And then below that, we've got our five number summary. What you don't have here though, are things like the range, a mode, or an inner quartile range. To find the mode, I actually just want my data. So I can go back to those data values 
values that I've entered, or I can go back to my original list. The mode is the most frequent, so I look for the value with the highest frequency. My mode is represented by a midpoint of 84.5. To find my range though, or something like an inner quartile range, I wanna go to a calculator screen. So I'm gonna add another page here, clicking control and then that plus page button, and we're gonna add a calculator, so number one here. I can recall those measures that I saw in my spreadsheet here on my calculator screen by going to my VAR menu. You'll notice there are lots and lots of things here. Say we wanted that quartile one, I can hit enter, and then I've got that 74.5. I can also do something like an inner quartile range. That would be quartile three minus quartile one. To find that, I'm gonna to go to my VAR key, arrow down, and I'll do quartile three, and then enter minus quartile one, back to my VAR key, quartile one, enter, and then enter again. So many things that this TI Inspire can do, especially when it comes to statistics. I've got another video for you here.